to give you a commentary on the proceedings which will come to you. Pudu jana sangmar dene sandha di masi anu kalape ratawal hatak hatak ata kalinu bajakka videsh kati manadu indah itu nam bandar naik ke seluruh desa manat mandat betil arba makhir kerde. The theme for this year's summit is. Kita pilih. Suda nam sitna kari. Abad tawat kari nak dan beti mahitan ni. Kolomba pertina mema sak samulua. Mei awas tadi pertina dewi ni wari. Tapi kita kali ekdas nam siya. Anu ekhi. That then is the president of the Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Her Excellency Chandrika Bandarnaka Kumaratunga being greeted by the Honorable Foreign Minister Lakshman Kadirgama of Bangladesh. Her Excellency Sheikh Hasina. She's been assigned the duties of the Minister in Waiting for the Bangladeshi leader. Most of the leaders arrived here. The leader, the King, His Majesty is not being, is is not on this time around. Usually, view of these changes, Mr. Tenley would represent Bhutan as the first ever. The Prime Minister of the Republic of India, Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Statesman and leader of India. The Republic of India, Atal Behari Vajpayee. And we have very close links with the Maldives. Most of their people study here in schools in Sri Lanka. And I'm told His Excellency Gayum also was a student here in one of our school visits to this country. But this is an official visit. And that is the Nepali Prime Minister, Girija Prasad Koirala. North of India. The second largest country in the region. That's the Sri Lankan president in India. Uh, we are the three test playing with the inner chambers, one might say, that this August gathering and the rest of the world. meeting of the heads of state or government of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation is called to order. Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, it is indeed a great pleasure to meet in this beautiful city of Colombo at the invitation of Her Excellency President Chandrika Bandaranaika Kumara Tunga. On behalf of the visiting heads of state or government, I wish to thank the government and the people of Sri Lanka for the warm welcome that we have been accorded and for the very generous hospitality that has been extended to us. Meticulous care is being taken to look after our comfort and ease and excellent arrangements have been made for this summit. Sri Lanka has every confidence that the occasion of this summit, which brings the seven leaders of South Asia to Colombo, in common commitment to the SARC Charter, will prove useful to facilitate frank bilateral dialogues 
Colombo could provide a healthy atmosphere in which member states can, in full freedom, address questions of common concern. When dialogue falters, deferring perceptions could well fester, affecting not only relations between countries concerned, but also darkening the overall climate for regional cooperation in which every member of the association has a vital stake. An ambience of confidence which would embrace all seven states as members of one family is imperative for progress in the agreed areas of cooperation. It cannot be denied that such an ambience could be affected by recent developments in South Asia. It is a measure of the maturity of SARC that, notwithstanding this possibility, its member states have, in their individual national contexts, striven to assuage the situation. None of us in SARC has rushed to judgment. The circumstances that have led to the steps taken by India and Pakistan have been bilaterally explained to each of us in SARC. Each state in South Asia has taken its own measure of the nuclear tests. Their concerns have already been expressed on record and need no repetition here. Although these concerns are not on the agenda of the summit, they cannot be ignored.